Hello. How are you? Very good. It's a pleasure to meet you. How are Amazing. you? Amazing. I'm very good. Thank you. Hope you're extremely well also. I am. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Ramir. I'm, I'm, I'm very delighted uh, for the opportunity and I look forward to having an amazing discussion with you. Uh, me too. I picked up some things from your Akasha, if you'd be willing to yeah. have a okay. listen to what I picked up and just kind of chat about what yes. I've seen. I picked up that you have a rainbow soul, that you have various colors around your soul and you see different soul frequencies in other people and you see what's out of balance and what needs to be attuned in the aura and the frequencies. And you do like almost like quantum healing. You pull in the light frequency and you heal on the quantum level what needs healing. So you see things in color like the organs, the soul frequency. So that's kind of like what your healing is of how you see healing. Um, you, you also do find natural portals on the earth. You're a portal finder and you heal a lot of the damage in the earth grids. You, you do it both on an energetic scale and physically go around healing spots that have weaknesses. So you've been doing that for about 10 years and picking up that this has been your calling. And you hear the earth's signature and frequency where to go. You also see other worlds and dimensions between the veils of reality. So you, you've, you've been able to do that since you were eight years old. And you, you've expanded that ability quite a bit. Uh, and you have higher dimensional frequency shift harmonic tuner. You tune harmonics and frequency in living beings, uh, plants, mushrooms, plants, humans, other planets, and even in inanimate objects. You can sense the molecules. What It calls to you what asks for healing. It calls to you on that level of the harmonic tuning, and you tune that. So that's the first things I picked up. And then I pick up that you <laughs> tap into the golden akasha of the golden ascended masters. You're a weaver of time and space. You create soul worlds for new life forms to inhabit. So you have the ability of world creation, like you literally create new worlds. And for first time souls that want to experience a safe haven, in new planets, you create that for them to come in so they don't have to accidentally stumble in 3D worlds if they're not ready for that frequency of experience. The worlds that you create is higher harmonic dimension where they experience a safe 5D or higher dimensional capacity. You help to create those worlds and make sure they're administered correctly in proper frequencies to have a good experience. So you participate in that, um, in, in the golden Akasha in that space of soul creation. I also picked up that you're a dragon, dragon being. You hold the energy of a golden and blue silver dragon within your current soul field capacity. So if you've had past lifetimes with dragons and you have dragon protectors. So that's, the other thing that's very strong, and I picked up an Arcturian lifetime, that there's currently like blue orbs that follow you and around in this lifetime, and it connects back to the star system of Arcturus. That's very strong in your energy, This and the blue orbs show up physically too, not just energetically. Yes. So it's, it's a physical yes. manifestation yes. of that. Um, and the other thing that I picked up that you're a time walker or a time traveler, you go bet between timelines and fields of ancestral lineages to heal ancestral issues and people in times and places. Um, and you time travel because you can see the past, the present and the future. So that's the time walker, time traveler aspect of you. You just see visions of things and it's a natural ability. You're also a soul dilator. You dial in into people's souls and you see what they need for healing, for clarity, for connection, just human heart connection. And you bring that forward and, and you help people understand what their needs are. 
You're also a soul weaver. You create communities of people to gather, to plant food and to plant green things. You have a green thumb with plants and you create these beautiful safe communities for people, for yourself and others to gather in. So there's a lot of green plant energy around you always. And you're a dream walker. You see your own dreams and other people's dreams and you help to for them to understand that. And for yourself, you do dream mapping, you do mind mapping to see the bigger picture. Those were kind of just the things that I saw. Well, you, 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 you blew my mind. My, my esteemed friend, you are spot on on everything. It's such a privilege and delight to be in your presence. I'm, I feel very blessed, very fortunate. Uh, thank you so very much for this. And uh, yes, just in, in way of confirmation and uh, basically agreeing with all you have said, I have been consciously aware of this. You're spot on in the fact that I've strengthened a lot of these. And um, I'd like to share uh, my methodology with, uh, with you and uh, our potential esteemed audience on how this is done. Um, I focused and dedicated this incarnation to healing work. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, um, you, you know this, I can say for certainty. Again, um, I haven't tuned into your energy whatsoever, so I'm going to do this uh, in, a, in a short bit with your permission. And mm -hmm. uh, But being a spirit guide or ascended master, whatever you want to call it, the words are not so important. It is very frustrating. You see, you whisper words of grace and love and healing and support into somebody's ear and you lift them, you wash them, you elevate them. And 15 minutes later, they're back to the old shenanigans. And it reaches a point where you say, oh, God damn it, I'm going there. I'm going in myself. I am dipping yeah. in. And so I think this is what I have chosen, healing. All, um, all my previous incarnations have been involved with spirituality, magic, healing work, the esoterics. And I just thought that this is a time where we're leaving as a species the, the dark ages, the Kali Yuga, the long cycle of darkness. We have perhaps uh, three centuries to go before the new golden age begins. And there are so many beautiful, powerful beings right now on Earth. A majority of us are so that just need this little boop right hey like it like a snooker ball that's the pocket that's where you need to go boop <laughs> that's yes. all these guys need so yes you, you're spot on my dear friend you are the real deal and you are very much so uh, a child of the beloved beloved source with no distortion it is quite evident in your energy also. Um, so my, my uh, approach to the Akashic Records is intertwined with healing work. So people find their way to me. Uh, it's basically, uh, I, I start from the boundaries of physicality and non-physicality about the soul star level. See if there are any blockages. Uh, usually, and now this will probably resonate with with the audience that find their way to this um, interview, this uh, wonderful discussion. Uh, the more powerful the being is, you'd see heavier uh, interference and manipulation with the higher chakras, the crown, the third eye, the throat, and the heart is almost always um, damaged in people. Of course, we are divine beings. Loving is within our nature. And so we do get hurt with heartbreak, with loss, with betrayal, and so on. And so every one of these leaves a little chip or crack in the otherwise beautiful, perfect jewel that is the heart. And, and quite a lot of this comes from other lifetimes. People really need to come to terms with the, with the truth that we are infinite and immortal. We do mm -hmm. shed vessels like we buy a new suit. This is, this is the truth, but a lot of these injuries we carry with us over a long period of time. So um, that's my approach. And, and then, of course, it's, it's very interesting uh, that as you remove blockages, 
uh, or break uh, energetic um, boundaries, uh, i.e. black magic. Yes. Um, what can shine through what becomes evident from the history, from the journey of the soul becomes clearer. So it's very much like a gentle unwrapping of the person's energy. I like to dig all the way back to um, a starting point that is relevant for people. Uh, for example, where does your soul come from? What is the energy of your soul? What floats your boat, my friend? And in, without exception, every case the person says, Ah, oh, that makes sense. That really is what I enjoy. That's what I've been doing all along. And, and of course, we all have our intricate and beautiful life plans and life journeys. But how that unfolds is always kind of, that's, that's the under, underlying theme with people. They still do what the soul is here to do. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, that's how I dig. I find a string and I just keep pulling, <laughs> you know, see where it leads. Exactly. And I had watched one of your videos and your higher self said, you need his permission to connect, to read him, like to actually see what's in your soul field. So it's like, and I thought I'd, I'd really like to connect with you and I'd really like to see what's in your soul field. So it's like once the permission was given, then I could see those things about you before <laughs> you have a high protection field around you. So if an Akashic reader tries to read you anything on the surface, they're not going to see anything until you give permission. You, you keep blowing my mind, okay? <laughs> uh, this is this is very, very profound and exciting. Well, well, yeah. yes. You, I, 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 hey, by the way, I'd like to share this with our esteemed audience too. Uh, psychic defense. Uh, because, um, and I, I, I would imagine you would find what I'm going to say also agreeable, that a very small proportion of the population on, on the planet, and I'm talking probably three to five percent are truly dark and and they're the ones perpetuating the cycle of darkness all the cruelty and violence and abuse you see there is a merit and reason for certain levels of suffering so that we may experience it and learn from it and enhance ourselves. but a lot of what we're seeing now doesn't it's, it's way out of proportion it's turned into pure sadism and cruelty that's not what the divine plan is, mm -hmm. you see. And, and so because of those 3%, and many of them are psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists, the worst of the worst, and the darker entities usually incarnate in such vessels, because then the vessel and the soul are harmonious. There's no struggle. You see, such a soul could not inhabit your body, this genetic combination. The body, the ancestors would fight it. Yes, but but now take a bloodline who's corrupted and damaged. There's lots of let's say um, soul bonds or ancestral curses, and then that soul comes in. They're already they're good to go. They're happy with that. So mm -hmm. the reason I mention this is we have to protect ourselves. Uh, and so mm, if if you agree with your permission, I'd like to just share this strategy. So ladies and gentlemen, you are everywhere. You're infinite. That is the truth. Now, whether your conscious mind acknowledges this or not does not change the truth. So uh, imagine that you have a house, the way you lay it out, or even for that matter, imagine you step on a piece of land before anybody has exerted their will and created buildings. It's random. Mm -hmm. The same is true for your astral scenery. It is what it is. You haven't changed it. And so somebody can walk up and access your energy. So I, I grew up in a very warm climate, the Middle East and Iran, so we have lots of deserts. In deserts, we have quicksand. So I thought, ooh, that's pretty neat. I'm going to create limitless quicksand around me. And so somebody walking in with impure intentions will get caught in. Somebody with pure intentions can glide through the surface. But then I thought, well, that's not very practical. Like a fly trap, you end up with lots of uh, cor corpses. You've got to clean mm -hmm. the damn thing. So then I turned yes. the quicksand into fire sand, like a self-cleaning oven. Whatever gets trapped gets transmuted and disintegrated. So that worked for a while, and then I had one or two incursions, psychic attacks, and I thought, oh, well, these guys are flying above the surface. So then I added 
like octopus trees, with tendrils that would grab anything flying in the astral, put it firmly on the surface, and so then the sand and the fire could deal with it. So this is just my example. You can change your scenery, your astral scenery, according to what you like, and place in defenses. You know what? Put a minefield and put barbed wire and put a moat and then put guard towers with machine guns and whatnot and then, you know, put all sorts of fancy schmancy defense systems. But it's important that you set up and create this. And by the way, you say how you create it. I tell you, the same way you choose to lift your hand up, it is just a matter of will and it is done. So that defensive strategy seems to work. And the benevolent beings, such as you, that then seek me, may not, may not see me. Uh, this is something that will definitely help people uh, in their dream time. And many of us come across um, incursions or violations of our free will in the dreaming world. Many people mm -hmm. have recurring nightmares mares, and so on. And so mm -hmm. this will most certainly help them very, very powerfully. So, And it's a passive thing. You don't need to be aware of it. You'll sleep like a baby. All that nonsense will cease. And it was interesting when I was looking into your field, I saw this golden energy, like gold surrounding you. And I saw blue energy surrounding you. I felt the blue energy is your aura and the golden energy is the protection that you place. And those two fields are, I didn't see any quicksand. I didn't see any sand. I just felt these two protective layers around you. And once permission was given to interact with your soul frequency, they kind of opened up to see the important things about you that define your joy, your beauty, your soul frequency. And well, that's my, what I was allowed <laughs> to see. My, my esteemed friend, the gold, the blue, and the beauty was just a reflection of you. You see mm -hmm. somebody that is less than you approaching would have a very different experience. And so the, here comes again other subtle layers of, let's say, giving the boundaries of your astral um, reality a fine polish. So what you saw, that beauty that you are describing is very much you. Not mm -hmm. seeing the quicksand. It didn't come. It didn't need to come into play. Uh, it just so So again, you're, you're bestowing this imagery or scenery, uh, fr intelligence from your infinite being. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people really need to know this. You know, uh, my dear friend, such things are what need to be taught in school, mm -hmm. right? Most of the stuff they are teaching children is not very useful. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is, right? Practical uh, skills, literacy, numeracy, and, and so on. But this really, you know, we're in a body. We don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so hopefully, hopefully, as a result of what people like you and I are doing, this will be incorporated. However, please allow me to bring in a ray of hope and optimism. People are picking up on this. So there's very great emphasis on quote-unquote mindfulness. Uh, I work with uh, children uh, nowadays, gifted children, and these little guys, they're lit. These boys and girls, they're tapped in to a degree that my generation was not. Mm -hmm. I'm incredibly optimistic for our future as a species. And again, you know, there's so much um, fear and negativity being pumped uh, upon us, us humankind. But the reason is we're getting stronger. Mm -hmm. They really need to amp it up. Otherwise, they're losing control and they are yeah. losing control. So mm -hmm. all in all, I'm incredibly hopeful. And, and, and your rainbow er energy has frequencies that modulate. The colors modulate constantly. And that's another shield around your soul energy, around your aura. So that, that's the other thing I encountered. These frequencies change and shift, and that's what you're teaching these children, how to modulate their aura shielding, increase that. Absolutely. Now, I'm so grateful that you are focusing on this and asking this. Thank you. The, the human is infinite. That's it. And so there are things that are placed upon this infinite soul to allow the simulation that is the matrix to become possible. For example, the chakra system. Mm -hmm. 
This is not conducive to the infinite human, but it is the default setting that allows this interaction with the quote-unquote matrix. Yes. And later on, it is possible to gently and conclusively remove these from the energy system. I wouldn't recommend it done in a hasty fashion, but it is possible. So this continuous spectrum like a continuous rainbow. You can't say where one starts and the other ends. That's the correct way. Mm -hmm. um, the discrete, say, point, 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 that is very much a mechanical or, or, or a statistical or, let's say, um, sampling type of approach to reality, which also indicates the whole thing is generated by AI, computational means, but many mm -hmm. people have come to this conclusion. So in order to remove it, something that I found very, very um, idiot proof. I can say it's idiot proof because it worked for me. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's, it's mantras, repetition. Uh, so there are different levels of consciousness. The lowest, I'm not saying better, but I won't use that. Let's say the densest um, um, a vibration is the conscious mind and the body, the, the monkey brain. And then we go mm -hmm. up the scale of vibration to our infinite super genius, our, 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 let's say the God self, infinite self. These are all yes. present. We have to remove barriers from all of these working in harmony, unified mm -hmm. consciousness harmonics. And so these mantras, they seep in first, first level, the conscious mind, the monkey brain and then goes into the subconscious and unconscious, then the wisdom of the body, uh, emotional body, uh, the scaffolding, energetic scaffolding that uh, allows uh, molecules and atoms to form our limbs and so on. And then we go into uh, different dimensions of our physicality. Well, they are physical, maybe not material, but still in those dimensions they exist. Uh, so there's a system called the Kujikiri, it starts focusing on each one of these um, energy points. And the mantras are pretty simple. So you start, for example, with the root, Om Vajra Manataya Swaha. Uh, I see everything truthfully. That's it. Mm -hmm. I see everything truthfully. Uh, however, you have to repeat it around 11,000 times. Now, yes. believe me, after all those reps, it's going to seep in. Anything preventing you from seeing truthfully is gone. And then you go mm -hmm. up the ladder, last key is associated with the crown, which is called Zen. But when you complete it, you become a Zen master. Om Arapachana Di, uh, I am the light, I am the void. So complete dark, complete light and everything in between. So this is very mm -hmm. much so a byproduct of that practice. Um, I would strongly recommend people look into this. I teach this, by the way, but they don't have to come to me. You can find resources on YouTube, for goodness sake, mostly associated with the Japanese ninja, uh, because uh, as warriors, they use this to enhance themselves. They had um, basically intuitive abilities. Uh, that's why they focused on it, because it works, but it is far more ancient than Japan or India, for that matter, or the start of Earth, for that matter. I've looked into mm -hmm. it. It's a very ancient uh, break out of jail free card, but it's difficult. Uh, but that's the approach I've taken. So it's my daily spiritual practice. I've got two malas on me right now. Uh, so again, the crystals are important. What you have, uh, you imbue this energy in the crystals too, but it seeps into your being. So it's a very, very effective uh, strategy. Probably not the fastest or easiest, but, but it guarantees results. And it cleans, it cleans the energy and the frequency and the vibration and manifests what you want in your reality as positivity. Absolutely. You're not leaving any stone unturned. It's very much um, a meticulous approach. I like to think of it like building a temple. Uh, you, you've got blocks. Every block, block is a full round of the mala. So you build one with 108 reps of each mantra, one block complete. You do 108 reps, full rounds of the mala for each one of the keys, and then you've got nine different flavors. So you're constructing a temple or a pyramid with every block detailed. Uh, the other thing is you're not, oh my, oh man, this, this conversation is on fire. So many modalities of spirituality and magic, they focus on loan sharks. You go to another entity or being and ask for help. Uh, oh, but guess what? They will help you, but they're going to come knocking on your door for the original plus interest. 
Yes. That's not a good approach. This is just pouring your own energy into a battery. Every time you chant this energy with your conscious consciousness mm -hmm. involved, you're pouring into yourself and it takes a minimum of three months. I've been doing it every day for 10 years. So now imagine I've got all this energy needed. So if I need to break something, it doesn't matter if it's one person or a thousand people. Accumulatively, I've put more energy into my conscious intention than an entire carbon. Uh, so, and I'm not, um, I'm not owing anyone or anything, any energy. Exactly. I studied white light magic and I studied some dark magic. And there's deities and gods and goddesses. And you can connect to those beings, but asking them for anything is, again, going to come to you with, but you need to give me back something. And you, it's 10% something. You have to work it off. So <laughs> you can learn from them. They can share knowledge with you because they have wisdom. And to come to them for that is okay to learn to connect, but not ask anything for them to do for you. You can do it for yourself and as creators and manifestors. Agreed. I couldn't put it better myself. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, uh, so um, would you like me to tune into your energy and see what I can see? Yes, but I, I just, I'm looking back into your Arcturian lifetime and, and I see you as a waveform. I don't see a body in Arcturus. I see a waveform. What do you remember about that lifetime? I have, I'm just curious. This is an emotional uh, topic. Uh, I have left a family waiting and the passage of time or eons are not the same. Uh, in the higher realms, again, this sequence of existence, the way we experience time is very much a physical thing. But it is um, voluntary for a higher good. As you are aware, there are many different species from different dimensions invested in the success of Earth. Mm -hmm. And so I have had, well, let's, let's put it in this way, I am a member of many of these. Let's not put past and future because that is an yeah. illusion. I'm, exactly. I'm a member of many of these species and there is a consensus among many benevolent beings that humanity must succeed uh, mm -hmm. because they have come here uh, to experience and grow and things have gone out of whack. Um, the purpose of Earth and this matrix uh, I like to call it guaranteed unnatural evolution, uh, meaning that um, the soul incarnated in this realm is presented with a great variety and richness of experience which does not exist out in the wild or out in nature, so to speak. Yeah. It's completely artificial. So the limits, so the, the amount of hardship and nonsense that we face, this does not occur. I mean, come on, look at the surface of the moon. Nothing's happening. It's down here that all the show is going on. Uh, yes. But then in order to make things as difficult as possible, because there's very much an, uh, an aspect in this um, unnatural evolution to create vessels. Mm -hmm. So they brought in the less evolved species to make it even harder. Past, let's mm -hmm. say, 300, 350,000 years. The reptilians, yes. Draco reptilians, the Anunnaki, these are not very evolved, but they bring something of great worth to the picture, which is the resilience. And so now that we've been exposed to that and out evolved it, we've absorbed all their greatness. It is now our greatness. But the unfortunate thing is that many are entangled from many different worlds. And so the Octurian part is one of the aspects. Another is very much a dragon. I've got Lyran aspects. Andromedan aspects. I, I, I have visited these worlds and have great compassion for them, uh, but they have greater compassion for us as humans. And they really admire us like, oh my God, look at what these guys are doing because we are them. They are us. Mm -hmm. We aren't aware of who we are, what we can do. We have limited lifespans to figure it out and then we're wiped clean again. So coming down is just sort of like being a good soldier in a big army. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And your soul essence in that Arcturian lifetime is like part of a waveform collective of energy and frequency. Because I don't uh, the, see a typ typical physical body. I see waveform this, this, beings. It's not correct. It's not necessary. It's the purest, um, purest form of many of the evolved Arcturians, those on the High Council. Um, form is not necessary. Uh, after a certain level um omnipotence presence everywhere in everything is natural a form mm -hmm. becomes a limitation uh, it's just like coming down to physicality where in essence everything is built of cells and by very definition there's a boundary uh, over the cell so limitation is necessary in certain levels but after that it just becomes a hindrance so very much so they're non-corporeal non and then they may choose to embody or present themselves to a human uh, based on their evolutionary history what they used to be yes and and if that is not conducive they may look and peer into the memories and culture of the observer and appear as an angel or yes. maybe a little cherub, little uh, goody goody baby with wings, right? Uh, yes. So, mm, but naturally, this they, they they do not have form. So you're spot on there. Yeah, I'm picking up twelve density that your Arcturian self is twelve density. So and it's a blue waveform. It's a blue frequency. It can take on corporeal form, but in in that existence, you didn't need it. And 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 the, there is a sound associated uh, with the blue waveform, uh, which is um, part of many mantras. Uh, the word "whom," uh, but the the tone "you." Uh, so this is the blue syllable of creation, uh, and and based on that energy, you have many healing modalities like Reiki, yes. but not limited to that. Exactly, you're spot on. Reiki is about frequency, color, and energetic exchange of vibration throughout the body, the soul, and the quantum. It's, it's all holistic together. It's not one part. It's many parts that come together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm yes. so excited. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just such a divine blue frequency of that past life embodied in your physicality. Like your aura is blue, this light blue color that it's it's like ringing a bell and the bell chiming with beauty well, well thank you again it's a reflection of you my esteemed friend i am but a humble mirror reflecting mm -hmm. to you what you are shining so yes thank you thank you very much for this thank you mm -hmm. you don't often get to speak about your own soul creation your own soul beauty <laughs> So th this this is an honor for me to connect with you on on a soul level that's about you, your Thank beautiful you. creation. Uh, you you have blown my mind. You know, <laughs> I I must have been a good boy, because the divine has really gifted me. <laughs> You're really humble. You're sincere, and you strive to help people on the soul level. That shines in your soul aura. You know, I look at it in in this way, that I, I'm not doing anything for anyone. I'm not giving anyone anything. The only part I have is reminding them. Oh, hey, hey, dude. Hey, girl. By the way, uh, check this out. And then they, then they go, oh, oh, shit, excuse my language, but oh, my God, yeah, oh, my, how did I not see this? So, so you see, and once they see that, they become aware of there is no going back. They're back on their journey. And a lot of time, that's how um, the system is maintained. Many beings will never turn. They will not go evil. They will not compromise their integrity. They will not switch size. It's impossible to break them. And so this is evident in a lot of healing work that I do, that they get buried. Lots of levels of insulation. I see that like tar. So their light cannot shine and nothing can shine in. Uh, in the very immense manipulation to 
their connection to their infinite self above the crown and then the earth bridge so they can't connect into the earth and i just see as a little boy when you read some being named arana female energy had come in and she shined the light on you and awakened your memories of a galactic being of who you are who is that that is just she visited me from the age of five onwards uh, and the way that this would happen um, i had a little window sill uh, and my bed f basically sideways so as i was lying down the first thing i would see when i opened my eyes was this little wisp or shadow of a little cherub with wings and well of course in the innocence of childhood i'd have a look and go uh, i don't know what you are and then she would giggle but very much so there it wasn't linguistic it was pure energy and uh what what was her name arana a r a n a arana arana okay now i know her name i'm going to i'm going to hit her up cuz i've been calling her and she has not been answering <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yeah absolutely that's that's so amazing that you that you can see this uh what a sweet pleasant memory it and and you you see the effect that had for me this occurred in a time in my life where i still hadn't been fully exposed to our culture and the magic wasn't beaten out of me like many of us face Oh mm -hmm. no, don't say that. Oh no, don't do that. Oh no, that's crazy. Ba 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 ba. Yes. But it was so vivid and undeniable. It anchored me into uh, the infinite. I know what I saw. I've got a good memory. I remember this and so many times I remember distinctly her laughter. So, that that happened. Okay, and that that helped me find my way back around the age of let's say 18 where the call became too strong to deny and then for a while i actually scared the hell out of myself uh, with what i saw uh, that put me kind of on a on a little downward spiral but i found my way eventually but that was that little let's say silk string or spider web uh, cord maintaining connection to the spirit I'm very grateful to her for that. Without, without that anchor, without that giggle that I can still hear, I would not have found my way back. And, and she feels like a fairy and a childlike presence herself. That just beautiful golden white frequency. <laughs> oh my God. It, it shine the light on the child and the child remembers the childlike wander no matter his age it's like that's the frequency that's what she shined on you yes absolutely mm -hmm. wow and yeah. I've, I've 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 never told anybody this so again for the esteemed audience that will be seeing this first of all you're awesome i love all of you keep being awesome but this lady right here is the real deal i put my reputation on the line and i say this um, I have seldom come across anybody with such awareness. So yes, my friend, you are the real deal. Absolutely. Well, I've, I've never told anybody this. And the proper intent has to be there to come with a good frequency, to learn to be open-minded. And again, your higher self is very strong, very protective of you. And it only lets in people of the highest frequency to look at your energy, to look at your Akasha. Otherwise, it's very protected, very, very protected. So the, your, the, once your higher self gave this permission, then only could I see these things before I could not. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm honored and humbled by your kindness. And I, I, I'm lost for words, pretty much. Thank you. Um, thank uh, but that, you that, for that, you know, doing what you do. Oh, no, it's it's fun. I I'm I'm doing it for the for the joy and excitement. I I don't care about anything else. I'm just being, you know, la di da. <laughs> and and um, it's the joy of helping others. That that's that's the childlike energy of your frequency. You know, I think there is something now to be said about 
the correction, um, the awakening, the enlightenment, the ascension, uh, the undoing of the worst of the worst. And the truth is that certain elements have become so distorted and damaged and arrogant to such a point that when the beloved source of all sources shines upon them pure light and reminds them where they come from, they laugh, they mock it. And so it is necessary for a certain level of disintegration to that extent for whatever remains to be able to join a divine order once again. Yes. And so if they see you coming on a white horse with a great spear, they're not going to show who they are. Uh, they have to look at you and say, oh, this, this chap is a pure idiot. I mean, look at him. He's always happy. What the hell is wrong with you? They, don't see, it. they don't see it coming. And so a lot of times uh, the law of karma, cause and effect, has been impeded or locked it requires a certain violation or abuse of divine law for all that to be unlocked and a stream come in and then nature takes its course. Mm -hmm. So there is a merit to being hidden or not being seen. Otherwise, they'll be on their best behavior and it goes on for another 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. So comes with this naturally an aspect that there is quite a lot of psychic attack, uh, ritual abuse, but then the Most High has the last laugh. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> and it's, it's that divine humbleness vibration that allows to really see the soul aspects. The but there's a beauty in it, my dear friend. You see, those that have gone wrong, 85% of them say, oh, no, yes, of course I want to correct it. Uh, and I'm very sorry. So there's a very, very small percentage that are knowingly and willingly doing this, really tiny. Um, and, and so people would not be surprised who these people are in the quote unquote real world, uh, basically gathering unimaginable wealth and power, controlling everything. Uh, just follow the money, what is, is the expression that is so true. Mm -hmm. Somebody working in honest living it cannot amass that kind of wealth. It is abnormal. And money does not bring you happiness at the end of the day if your soul is not open to happiness. There's nothing wrong with, say, having good food, having yeah. um, the ability to pay your bills. If you have children, that they get the best education and health care that you are healthy and comfortable and happy. But there's a limit then that when your needs are met, many people become infected with greed. That is mm -hmm. a spiritual disease, which is defined by just desiring more than what you need. And these people, so it's beautiful that it comes to this, they have way more than what they need. They can't use it, it's impossible. Over a thousand lifetimes, you cannot spend it. So, yeah. yes, these are the people you have to watch out for. And when you leave this world, all you leave is with your soul. You don't leave with material possessions. So that materialism falls away anyways. And if you've done your soul work, you move smoothly to whatever next transitionary space you want to be in. And you create that yourself. These these life reviews, you, you know, beings appear. I am Jesus. I'm here to give you your life review. Are you really Jesus? And what's this life review? Do I need it or not? Like question what you're seeing at your end time. Maybe yes. that's not Jesus. And maybe you're not supposed to have this life review. That is so interesting. And I agree with you, by the way, you see Jesus, the great, honored, revered and respected ascended master Yahshua is an example of what can be done in human form. But by no means is this esteemed gentleman unique. We've got many people living right now who have reached that level of consciousness, the Christ consciousness. Just an example. Hey, boys and girls, look at what I can do. You can do it better. That's the message. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and so a thing that does come into play is the belief system. These very much so make their way into the energetic components of our being and they stick with us. And so if you are a certain way when you are in the body, shedding the shell or the suit will make no difference. So if you believe in a certain scenery of hell and heaven, that's what you're creating for yourself. Your ability mm -hmm. to manifest is not going away. If anything, it becomes less impeded. So you really do create that. Yes. So it's important to, to look into what we believe. Again, just going back to this um, um, evolutionary modality of the Kujikiri. Uh, that you really, really go over it thousands of times, over a hundred thousand times is the one one round of the system. But you're going emphasizing on things like I see things truthfully, I utilize things correctly, um, I um, step above my base nature, I see all things as consciousness, I am free from the boundaries of identity. So these are the mantras, by the way. Yes. That is what liberates you. So. If you are liberated in body, you are liberated out of body. Mm -hmm. If you're an asshole when you're alive, you're an asshole when you're dead. <laughs> and, and then you have to work in yourself to release that energy, to not be like that, and to move on to the higher realms of existence. Yep. And so many people miss the, miss the point. You know, this whole world and the cycle of reincarnation is like a tumble dryer, okay? You're going to spin until you dry. Uh, and many people just, they, they refuse to dry up. So yeah, on goes the cycle. There's no need to be dehydrated when you can learn the soul vibration, okay. learn your lessons and be hydrated. <laughs> there, we, there we go. I mean, why? Why not? <laughs> exactly. You are what you make of yourself and you can free yourself of any limitations or blockages and manifest a better world for yourself and others. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and so uh, something else, uh, I, I just I'm guided to say this now. There is no need for worry. Many people will think, oh, no, so many years or decades of my life have gone by. What have I done? What have I got to show for it? Where am I going? See, the, please, please, please shed all of that. Um, this is one of the laws of the universe. If you reach out for the light, it will reach back to you. It is in its nature. There is no other way. All you need is just to silence the mind and open the heart. You got it. Mm -hmm. You will be washed over by such beauty and bliss and grace f straight from the source. You don't need any intermediaries either. This is what you have to believe. It is, it is source reaching out to itself. We are a drop from that mighty ocean, but we are the mighty ocean in one drop. And the sign you will get is tears coming. Tears of joy. Ah, oh, I'm home. Oh my God, I don't want to leave. Every one of us, it doesn't matter in what culture or religion or belief system you are born in. And that is the remedy for everything. I really mean that to healing, to abundance, to manifestation, to joy, to wisdom, to memories. Reconnecting to source so you remember who you are. Mm-hmm. And you remembered from young childhood with Arana, that light that shone on you. You remembered your lifetimes from little boy's age, and, and you took that grace and wisdom and you built that up. I, I went wrong for many years. Don't, don't. <laughs> well, well, the human experience is to have an experience and learn what you need to learn and create a better world. It's like, even if you went wrong, you didn't really go wrong. You learned something important. That is so true. And so from what I call wrong, you're right. It's not kind of it's completely wrong, wrong. It's that you get a greater appreciation for appreciation for the immensity of creation that the word infinity does not quite come into adequacy for describing how massive the reality of things is. How many beings exist in domains or densities lower than earth how many above and so kind of seems like we're in the sweet spot kind of in the middle there's a lot below mm. and a lot above as above so below and yes. beings residing in these denser 
octaves of reality are no better or worse. Same is true for those in, let's say, some, just because somebody exists in the 12th dimension doesn't make them any better or worse. And the fact is, wherever free will exists, there is possibility for corruption. Mm -hmm. They're all the same. So it kind of kicked the racism out of me. That just because somebody is of the nature of a fire elemental called genies or demons doesn't make them any better or worse than those quote unquote angelic beings. We have fallen angels and we have demons who pray and praise the prime creator and ascend. They evolve and change. And this is going yes. on constantly. It's just different species and levels of beings, higher dimension, lower. They all have souls and they all have free will to ascend or descend. It, you don't judge based on energy or frequency. You get to know the being to learn who they truly are. I couldn't put it better myself. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Meet and you will meet and greet. As long as you come from divine love, honor and respect and humbleness to get to know the being, you'll get to know them for who they truly are, not as what they appear or just project for you to see. True absolutely true mm -hmm. hey, i can't put it better myself I, i'm i'm enjoying this conversation it's it's <laughs> amazing um, i met many galactic beings of various densities dimensions and i i don't put face value of what i just see or even hear from them i'm like i need to get to know you to understand you because they don't walk in other people's shoes i don't know what they're feeling until i connect with them and talk telepathically, verbally, whatever, or holographically on a quantum scale, whatever they communicate is getting to know them. That's important yes. to know the truth of who yes. they are and who you are and how you connect together. Correct. And, and not judging an entire group of beings in the same way. There's very much individual free will and they all differ mm -hmm. like people. Yes, even though we are one from source, we are still individuals having our experiences, whether human or different species of beings, we we are here to connect, to understand each other and come in unity, togetherness and love. Yes. That is the connection. Absolutely. Words of truth, powerful truth. Our differences do not exclude us from connecting and communicating. It just brings a whole other experience. You can agree to disagree with someone and still be best friends. Different opinions do not stop connection. Because it all comes from here anyway, from source. That, that's the unity of consciousness souls connecting to souls to form a bridge of connection and it holds that vibration <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just experiencing bliss it, it's so refreshing <sighs> and it always comes from a place of humbleness <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I agree. Uh, you you got to be humble, otherwise you, you're going to miss out on many amazing things. Exactly, exactly. That's I've what I've learned in this human life. Always be humble and always be open to looking at things in a different way, way no matter what comes to you. That's the blessing. Fixing my, my camera goes all out of whack. Uh, when I, I get happy, yeah, <laughs> energy, <laughs> and that, joy. You, you know, I'm like a like a dog. You know, when I'm happy, I wag my tail, so I get this little. The frequency, it's that frequency. <laughs> Technology sometimes doesn't move at the same mm. light speed as we do, and it needs to catch back up with us. <laughs> Yep, yep, absolutely. Oh, and also you've probably realized this too. When when you're doing something very profound or important, technology starts messing up. A Zoom call will drop, something will stop working. 
Well, I always try to hold the frequency of togetherness, even for the technology, just that energy. You will not drop anything. You will hold the communication and the connection. You manifest it working, no matter what your energy is projecting. Understood. Understood. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> I hold it. Hold it together. Do not disconnect. That's what I always... Like I'm allergic to Palo Santo, so I can't light it oh, when I oh, yes. when I go into sessions. But I'm like I hold safe space. I hold good energy for a positive, safe experience, and that is the Palo Santo energetically. Yes. Hold the frequency. Hold the good thought, and it protects you, and it 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 really connects you to healing, love, and connection. That I can't light it and smudge, but I can create that same field of energy by just holding the frequency of healing and protection. Yes. It's 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 you're doing you're doing exactly what all this psychodrama and theatrics are meant to do. So you're going straight to it and you know switching it on. Okay, protection, healing. Um and and we often do see this at the beginning of any modality. There's so many tools and instruments. Let's let's take the example of using tarot cards. So somebody comes in and looks at all these pictures and then starts reading the book and then they get better and better. But then they reach a point where they don't need the cards anymore. Mm -hmm. It just it, that's very much so for the benefit of the client. Yes, they know what's up, but they got to go through the motions. They already know what's coming. And I studied tarot and I love the symbology and I love the cards, but flipping them too much takes too much time. Shuffle the deck, let the client choose then open it up and look <laughs> psychically and the significance the symbology i could do it but it takes too much time so i yep. love the cards and i respect tarot readers who do yes. this for me i like to go straight to the source of the soul if you give permission connect to the soul not the outer or to the soul frequency tap that go into the akasha go into the field and tell you what is what exists in your own soul and talk to you about what you need to help you. That's, I like the directness. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there are different grades of everything. There yes. are many that just focus on, you know, did he or she cheat on you? Oh, are you going to get a better pay or whatnot? People are still, you know, looking at spirituality um, as a means to an end. Um, money and sex they don't really get it um but well we all we i suppose we've all had those lifetimes when we were learning and ascending i i wish them all the absolute best on their journey and a speedy ascension and some people ask me am i going to get that job am i what's my future and i say this is what i see as a possibility in your future at any moment this can change this can improve and you're not limited or bound by that future event. So, and I see different paths of what can happen and where your directions go. So I give the bigger picture and the future will take care of itself always. For those that want to know about jobs, about whether my husband is good for me or not, whether cheating happened or not, things happen for a reason. And it's good to learn about these things, but not dwell on that reality because you can change that anytime if you don't want to be with the person who does something you can change the reality and manifest a better person to come into your life yes. where there's no cheating and there's no hiding things because that person is at a better soul level frequency that they're not going to do this to you to match your soul frequency of where you are to somebody who matches your soul frequency so that doesn't happen because that person who's doing the cheating is at a lower vibration or they don't feel comfortable with something. That's why they're doing that in the first place. Yes. Yes, completely true. Completely true. And not blaming yourself that they cheated on you because there's something wrong with you. It's not you, it's them. Correct, correct. And yes. Communication, they're afraid to say something because they don't know how to say it. So they do something that is hoping for the better, hoping to find a solution for their own problems. But they're just doing something outside of themselves 
that they might later figure out, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. There could have been a better way. And so they learn later. Correct. Yes. So there, there is a, a gentle wisdom behind all of this. Yes. There's always a reason why somebody does something. Of what's happening to them. I mean, sometimes you got to let them learn and just go through the process. And not even blame them for what happened and let them go and let yourself find what you need for your soul happiness and well-being and not dwell on the past. There, there is, in, in, in complete agreement with what you just said, there's something that is very helpful, uh, especially after we shed the vessel. Uh, it's a small little chant or, or saying, uh, I release and let go of everyone and everything. There is no attachment to anything or anyone. It's so liberating. And that includes any senses of uh, betrayal or anger or sadness. Uh, these do not serve us. So beyond the wisdom of, okay, I could have chosen better. Or, okay, perhaps if I would have done things in this way, I wouldn't have been exposed to such and such. But that's the purpose for us learning. Um, receiving the experience of being betrayed. And then you learn to conduct yourself in a different way. So the probability of this is less. And that's the purpose. Mm -hmm. We learn better. But yes, that, that detachment and releasing of heavy energies, that, that, what we, that which we call forgiveness, is only for us. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a cause and effect. Somebody that does something will absolutely face the consequences of choices and actions, such as the nature of this reality and this world. Mm -hmm. So for us, releasing means, okay, I don't care. I'm good. And you are good. And then you don't hold that trauma, karma, and heavy load anymore. You're free to walk into your own future um, light and energetic to attract a better soulmate, to attract a happier life, a happier career, because you're manifesting better energy than what you had before. Agreed. That, that's one of the earth laws of help yourself so you're not stuck in the old stuff. So that is so true. And, and it reminds me of a very uh, dangerous distortion uh, that exists in the idea of what love is. So my understanding is love in its entirety is self-love. You're pouring into you. It's one of your vital life forces. And then once you love yourself, you will behave correctly. You will treat others correctly. There needs no, no, there's no need for any rules or contracts or regulations. You will treat people and other things lovingly because that is what you are. Mm -hmm. So the distortion is that you must give a certain amount of this and it must be reciprocated equally. That almost never occurs. Yeah, and people say I've given unconditional love to so-and-so and they don't reciprocate. I'm like... Why do you give unconditional love? Why don't you love yourself unconditionally first? And then people will see that and give you unconditional love because you shine that from your soul and they'll feel it or sense it. Yes, we need to start with self-love. And if there's an overflow, which there will be, then you treat others correctly. And if they do not treat you correctly, you love yourself enough to say, oh, no, thank you. This is not for me. Respectfully exactly. disentangle. Exactly. And don't dwell on it. The why, the how. Yeah. If, if it's meant to be, it is reciprocated. If not, just just move on and love yourself. And you'll find that love with somebody else who energetically feels that, vibrates that. And you two will connect. Absolutely. Like we have both connected, right? Yes. There is very yes. much a energetic match. I mean, wow. Um, so yes, that is see, this is in point of fact a great example of this, an alignment in motivation and life paths and energy. And it seems we're agreeing on pretty much everything out of our own unique journey. Seem, we seem yes. to have come to similar conclusions about what this whole thing is about. Yes, similar. The energy is good. I felt from you. When the higher self, your higher self allowed me to connect, I felt the very divine, loving, humble energy. 
And it's like, that's safe energy for me to connect with and talk to you and, and just feel this divine love. Thank you. Uh, likewise, um, I'm, I'm just smiling nonstop. This is one of the most enjoyable conversations I've had in a very long time. Well, it's honest and it's pure and it comes from the heart. That's what this, what this connection is. Yep. And, and I feel safe to share with you what I saw in your soul field, what I saw from your Akasha. And I only share it with people who I feel safe with. Yes. Yes, that, that is so true. Sometimes people can't handle it. It's too much. Uh, the ego and the programming kicks in and they start just losing it pretty much. They can't, they can't accept who they are, what they are, and they start reacting in less than positive ways. So you're absolutely right there. Mm -hmm. and, and I have the confidence in myself to hear from others what they sense about me too. I'm always like, keep an open mind. Nothing can hurt me and nothing can change who I am. And if, if something comes through from others that I need to know about and hear, I'll consider it and keep an open mind to it. Yes. It's yes. the free will choice to connect and figure it out. Yes. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, if there's anything you're getting from me, I am open okay. to... Oh, thank you. Well, you just you just read my mind. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, with your permission, may I go through the motions? Yes, of course. Excellent. Okay, so I, I've I've developed a little protocol. So, again, the cleansing, symbolic, but also alchemical. Let's do some Palo Santo or sage mm -hmm. or whatever you have. It's the smoke, uh, the element of fire transmuting and carrying intention of purity of love and healing and embodying the beloved beloved source of all sources there is something to be said about shamanic practices the whole psychodrama and the way they present themselves it's good for basically setting the scene both for the practitioner and for the person receiving the healing ah amazing Okay, so now I'm going to use the singing bowl, additional cleansing, but it'll help me connect you further and get some initial images. everything everywhere everything everywhere and this is who you are embodied from the densest most extreme pole which is divine to the lightest most evolved pole which is divine and everything in between this is who you are and then when needed comes a explosion Boom, a supernova, because in the path of natural circulation of consciousness, sometimes there are obstructions that require a being like you to go boom and open up the path. So divine evolution of consciousness of life in all domains may continue unobstructed. And there is an energy much revered by many that symbolizes this energy, which is Ganesha, uh, which is the remover of obstacles. And so that is what I would liken your energy to. I would not be surprised if you have had a hand in interacting with people uh, in such a way so that this whole energy acquires its name, the Ganesha. Again, being the Ganapati, raised by the, the Gana fire elementals, beloved by them, 
and then traveling and living among humans beloved by them and then ascending to divine heights beloved by the divine and that is the everything everywhere part very much so that energy of removing of obstacles with the merit of when the higher more ascended faculties are in control and we are not ruled by our base nature naturally obstacles are removed so it mm -hmm. is not a violent or aggressive boom or explosion it is very much so hey this is the ascended way higher point of view shining that piece or that key that beautifully fits into the lock and unlocks it so people coming into contact with you you unlock whatever is in their way just with a key a key is a perfect symbology of the perfect combination and solution for whatever's not doing what it's supposed to do you're that key the intelligent divine key and your your gracious loving service is not limited to people meaning humans many come to you there is a long line of people and things waiting for you to go home boom 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 yay freedom and then they're on their journey of ascension back to source and then once they reach source they say well who am i what am i i wish to experience myself down to the very basics what is it to be the void what is it to be sound what is it to be light oh let's try being the energy of water of air oh let's try being an atom molecule oh i want to be a crystal see you're present in all of these and so your solution your key to evolution i would like to now upgrade my definition key to evolution for all sentient kind for all places where consciousness exists you are the key to evolution and and based on merit you would judge and evaluate righteously the condition and press the button for that process to organically unfold like a seed in the correct con conditions cracking the shell sprouting roots and starting to grow so in that sense you are very much a um, a guardian a gatekeeper between levels um, making sure that things are done correctly based on the rules of the most high that someone who has not yet learned what they need to learn and acquired the tools and wisdom that they require for greater levels of expansion do not make it through mm -hmm. and so that that would mean that you also have a counterpart that would have the role of undoing those who cheat the system somebody ascends through technology or through deception this does occur that they are brought back down to their righteous position there is no cruelty in this so that hey you skipped five stages this is causing immense harm including to yourself back down you go you need to learn and this is divine blessing and so that's the initial initial imagery very, very much so. yeah yes. that's exactly what i do Oh, wow. Yes, yes, very clear. But but see the... And again, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm tuning into your energy. It is very, very non-biased. So the same, the same temperament that you're holding in the human form, in this body, which is so calm and chill and logical, every word is pronounced correctly with the proper intonation and timing Th that is your energy very much so uh, w w when somebody is exposed to this stream of consciousness first of all it calms them down brings them to a state of balance so any distortion or anxiety is removed 
and then they start slowly absorbing because the tempo or the, the, the strength of the stream is appropriate, optimized for the recipient. And it will fit now whether the verdict is, okay, you need to cook for a little longer, or no, you're right, you're just done. Or, oh dear, you've cooked too much, up you go two levels, right? Mm, they will accept it because they see that within you there is no selfishness, there is no bias. It is straight from the divine and this is recognized in many levels by people who are exposed to your energy. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I've overcome many biases and being horribly biased to being non-biased, to be calm and chill. So I've I've worked through those dense fields to to be here and to help others to be that way as well. And and I can be honest that I've been very biased in the past. So I've overcome that and just worked on ascending to be a, the purest form that I can be. To, to but, not hold that frequency. My dear friend, you are very much at that point. And of course, in, in the human form, it takes a while. We know this, but hey, mission accomplished. And Yay. it's made me lighter, and it's actually made me happier not to hold those dense energies. Uh, moksha, ascension, letting go of what does not serve you. And being your purest form, that humbleness, holding that humble feeling, what yes. helps me not to be biased, not to take it judgment is, on anything or anyone. It is the source of greatest power and liberation uh, where we come to shed all levels of identity and ego completely. Like there is no me, there is no this body, there is no this here and now, there is nothing but the beloved source. And in that place, everything, forces of nature are us. Mm -hmm. So it is a very powerful place to be. Uh, okay, uh, initial reading, I think it, I, I've tried my best to describe. And so yes. now with the, with the energetic structure of the vessel, with the genetic lines that have um, combined, uh, I'd like to ask for your permission and have a look through the system. Yeah, you've got yes, upgrades. Of you have upgrades awaiting now uh, before you chose uh, incarnation on earth you have seen let's say every single one of them uh, different stages of humanity and the bodies you come into and in advance you have uh, placed within the library of life certain design upgrades that would um, facilitate a greater success in what you do okay soul star oh boy oh boy you're tapped in my friend well that doesn't surprise me whatsoever uh between soul star and crown uh bridge can be expanded even further um would you like to expand the amount of light you can pull in from your infinite soul sure okay mm, clearing like maybe a tenth of a percent clearing required so the bridge is well traveled there is no stagnancy for dust to settle but a tiny amount so using sequoia clearing some some universes are in chaos and as a result of your presence everywhere that has affected those local branches let's clear those all else, soul star, thumbs up, perfect. Bridge coming down, clearing, that didn't take long. And just pulling out what we broke up into the consistency of fine dry sand with obsidian. Cleanse, charge it, ready to go. Uh, clearing the effects of the universes in chaos. Soul star, clear, perfectly. Bridge perfectly clear and now so from the beloved beloved source of all sources and your infinite soul I am calling forth fresh light never used never circulated never recycled for the purpose of expanding and strengthening the soul bridge and so pulling in light every photon circulating down and entering through the crown leaves in its wake a trail of light 
I'm still strengthening 45, 50%, 60%. 70, 80, bridge co completed. This is again part of the conditions of physicality where the soul bridge and earth bridge are severed at birth. Um, now, without this, would it have made any difference? No, nah, you're, you're, you're good. This is just having, let's say, an extra lane in your highway. Okay, uh, now looking at the crown. We pushed some dust from the bridge upon the crown. Let me just clear. Pulling out the sand. Crown itself. Shiny. I mean literally shiny. Good, calm mind in control of reality in all its infinity. Hey, good. Just good, good, good. Third eye. Good. Tiny bit of clearance, third eye. It's, it's, it's easy working with you, yeah? You're, you're, you take good care of yourself. <laughs> I clean every day. Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah pr pretty much. Like, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm coming, looking around, finding nothing, pretty much. So, yeah, a tiny, tiny amount. Again, as we've pushed stuff around, we've raised a little dust. I'm just making sure that as I have entered into a pristine environment, Thus, I leave it in the same way. Uh, okay, tiny little bit of dust around the third eye. Good, that didn't take anything. Third eye clear. Going back of the head, jade gate. Okay, this is one of the centers where you have a upgraded design for yourself. So already, you are pretty much tapped into other aspects of your infinite soul, which they may, they may be called guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and so on. That is not the issue. The issue is that there is so much more available, more streams for the benefit of the conscious mind and the physical body. And this is one of the designs that's available to you. Would you like to receive? Sure. Okay. And so out of... Um, the purest reverence and respect I place for you a, a backup in reality at any point if you wish to revert back to the original you may just do so by wishing so and so hey have a test drive see if you like it I think you will uh, okay uh, opening a portal to the divine library of life entering uh, respectfully announcing my presence and this is quite unusual uh, um, what I'm perceiving the entire staff of this divine library are in their best attire formal clothing and they are standing in attention uh, usually they treat me very rudely like take your stuff and get the hell out but in this situation they're all standing to attention and they've got this complex energy complex consciousness complex on a tray and this is all you, my friend. It has nothing to do with me. The reverence is yours. So, uh, connecting, opening a portal, connecting to the soul star um, with reverence. Both hands, so to speak, picking up the design. Let's start the stream of the download. Going through, starting. It's now entering through the crown, going to the back of the head, your jade gate. Uh, already washed out the old structure completely. We're at 15% complete, encouraging the unobstructed and pure flow of information into the Jade Gate, 30%. This is a big one. Uh, this is a lot of information coming in. 40%. Thank you for your patience. Bear with me. 55, 60, 70, 90, and we are complete, respectfully stepping out of the library of life, closing the portal and disconnecting the other end from your soul star. Now let's give it some energy. 
uh, cedar divine masculine pumping it up so it starts unfolding and integrating into your energy structure oh, oh, oh wow okay um wow it just went it just started expanding so the normal way i perceive the jade gate is a spiral pointing out about a foot backwards mm -hmm. uh, this is many of them many many of them going everywhere not just behind the way i perceive this usually is going in every direction and reaching mm -hmm. a lot further than usual so very much so as advertised this is what it is doing or designed to do integration with the rest of your energy it still hasn't switched on let's pull in light and charge it up uh, I'm not going to pass over this until I'm perfectly certain it is doing what it's intended to do correctly. Okay, pulling in even more light from the branches of the soul star over the bridge. Okay, that's why the bridge needed to be strengthened. Also coming into the crown, washing over third eye and now streaming into this new device. Let's keep charging it. Okay, it's waking up for you now light is pouring out of these extensions these like little vortexes vortices going everywhere doing connecting to many different places online in perfection so whatever you had in terms of access to libraries now they are not limited to the libraries associated with this universe that was you had you 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 have pushed the human vessel to the limit of what it can do by default design and so therefore you have seen this incarnation that yes you're going to reach that stage and now it would benefit you accessing libraries of other locations too you're going to be quite busy people are going to come hey hey what's up hello we're from such and such location but it won't be a burden because this device has its own sentience very much so so it won't be a burden upon the conscious mind and the way you conduct your life so massive upgrade I, and i haven't seen this one before very interesting tech perfect is it energetic or is it like a device is this an energy frequency or what this kind is, of a device? I, I, I see I see consciousness as as technology. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an upgrade to the energetic structure, your energetic structure. So what would be associated with a receiver? Uh, let's say decoding of information, demodulation, translation, interpretation, pattern recognition. So all those features are part of this structure. And so what you would have been um, in range of receiving would have been this local universe. Mm -hmm. And so now it's just basically upgrading the capacity of all those other functions that I named and increasing the range of where information can come from, from other aspects of you, benevolent, uh, which would serve you. So you need the memories of a certain race who have lived, evolved, and ascended in three universes above that will serve a certain purpose here now because the, the example is relevant. That is now within reach. You're going to pull in knowingly from where it is to, perhaps with the names of the races, the people, and what the wisdom of their story is. And I'm seeing like fire and lava around you are you doing some kind of healing with fire and lava in a place that needs recalibrating this world yes this world somewhere where there's a weakness where there's lava flow and fire and the volcano core, the, the core um the core of this world because so now that you're, you're meant saying... to do something with it the core is agitated 
angry, pulling in from the surface and its natural grids the energy of turmoil and suffering. Let's just soothe it with uh, some feminine energy, like a mother rocking her baby. So Magnolia focusing on the core. Soothing the anger. Because left unchecked, that'll cause volcanic eruptions or earthquakes. <laughs> uh, wow, wow, a wee wa. <laughs> Jade get good. Jade get good, better than good. So the backup, or let's say the enhancement you've left behind, is in place. Done so correctly. It is all good. So pulling in more light into Soul Star, Over Bridge, Crown, Third Eye, Jade Gates. Yes. Throat good. Higher heart, good. Um, surprising. There's an, uh, well, um, well, this is very surprising. High, higher heart. There's an upgraded design for you. Um, again, this is the unconditional, say, divine love, right? And you have reached the limit of what the uh, default factory structure of the human body can do. An enhancement for the higher heart. By the way, heart is good. You've you've cleaned you've you've dealt with everything. So there's just an upgrade for the higher heart. Uh, do you wish to receive? Sure. Fantastic. So again, um, out of pure uh, and unconditional respect and reverence for you, setting a backup in consciousness, in time and space and location, so that if you wish to revert to how it is now, you just do so consciously, or rather back and forth uh, according to your will. So also have a test drive, see how you like it. Uh, opening a portal to the library of life, the divine library, entering same setting, different presentation. This is significantly larger than the previous design. And so let's open a portal, connect to your soul star. It feels heavy. The best way I can describe is like I'm lifting a torpedo. Uh, if you've ever seen movies with submarines, these, these things are large, like mm -hmm. many tons. This is a large device. And this is the high heart. So again, the gentle rose quartz color and all that with that love, warm energy. But it is massive. Okay, carefully moving it towards the edges of the portal, starting the download process, connecting to the Soul Star, and starting the stream of information. Okay, so, so the typical human size higher heart is about the size of a ping pong ball. And now you're getting a torpedo. So starting the download, okay, old structure washed away. Now we're starting filling up and enhancing. The orientation is elongated, as in the entire body stood upright, is in encompassed within this higher heart. So it is very much so going to benefit every cell in your own body too. And this is the love that lies at the foundation of all creation. So it's going to wash every cell in the body, every string of energy, every iota of consciousness. So any genetic things, this is going to be corrected. Uh, I would not be surprised if you live healthily into your 90s or pass into 100s. So such is the nature of this, benefiting for now just you. Okay, uh, elongating this already covered the extension of the head. Now it's growing downwards. And although there is a lot of information coming in, it's moving very smoothly and fast now past the root 
moving towards the knees so it is like an ellipse an elongated ellipse where the entire vessel is fitting within it but yet anchored where the so yes ellipse would be an accurate mathematical description and so if that is one of the energetic points the other one would be in the sacral so the higher heart is one of the focal points the sacral is the other and so then with equal balance above here and below the sacral is covering all the way incorporating the soul bridge too very impressive so okay download is completed uh, with gratitude and respect leaving the library of life closing the portal behind me disconnecting from your soul star coming back to the here and now it's online it's doing its thing doesn't need anything okay very impressive so now stepping back observing your field there is this gentle uh, i'm gonna call it baby pink soft pink boundary underneath all the other layers so closest to you this would be the first level out which is the boundaries of this new structure so let's just uh, so how can i describe this compare the mass of a ping pong ball and the mass of a torpedo both made from the same essence but now there is a lot more of it so it hasn't been a modification rather in increase so more an energy that. upgrade like an upgrade you can now emanate a lot more and and this is primary recipient of the benefits is you the vessel the energy system what comes into the consciousness is just being enhanced um, by this loving energy but it is most um, conducive to your non-physical work because uh, as I mentioned you're helping many more than just humans and some of them need that little extra oomph to kickstart their evolution this is now right in line with the mission unlocking evolving gently evaluating and ascending opening the doors so you can evolve and ascend greater consciousness all the way up high heart thumbs up i've never seen anything like this one either okay heart good solar plexus good sacral good it's changing the way uh, these centers are working and interacting with each other too so they're being nourished in a very unique way by this increased flow of divine love root good no harvesting hey thumbs up uh into the sides moving into the hips down into the legs connection to earth extremely good earth star powerful earth bridge could benefit from a gentle cleanse i think we've kicked some dust up um and also the bridge is at 60 percent um it would be good if it's there's no bottleneck in the flow so you want to get lots of light in unobstructed anchor into the earth uh, okay, so let's gently clean what we've brought up to the surface. So from about knee level to about a foot underneath the base of your feet. Uh, that's the location I'm focusing on. Clearing, clearing now under the feet. It, the energy flow narrows down slightly. We'll take care of that. So pulling out the sand that we just broke up. And now from your infinite soul and the most beloved divine pulling in more fresh light nourishing you and healing you and strengthening you pulling in to the soul star over the bridge washing through the entire vessel coming through the feet 
and as it's leaving the base of your feet connecting to the earth star every photon spiraling down leaves a trail of light in its wake thus strengthening and filling up the bridge perfectly clean at about 60 percent maximum right now let's start building it up 70 90 reconstruction complete uh, okay so in terms of energy hygiene and the well-being of your body and energy structure you were in um, outstanding uh, in an outstanding state so from my humble perspective I would like to give you a strong confirmation for the efficacy uh, of what you do it works it works really well Thank and I'm you. getting goosebumps again as I speak the truth my body reacts yes you're doing an amazing job your energy is pristine and now so the only thing that we we did was uh, fully reconstruct uh, it will make your job a lit little easier it was working perfect but now it's just going to be easier as if you have an um, more unobstructed path of light pulling in more from your soul and anchoring it easier into the earth but even without this you are good pretty good now thanks to you you have foreseen the need for upgrades two big upgrades the jade gate memories of entire libraries accessible to you and also this enhancement in the higher heart i have never seen both are now in place and working in perfection you don't need to do anything special uh, with many clients i tell them oh drink lots of water rest avoid spicy food avoid spicy people uh, but you already do that very well yes so 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 nothing special uh, you see, you're, you're already at that stage where uh, you are completely aware of what is on, what is going on and what is needed and so on. So it's, it's, uh, we're good. Like It's like uh, one of those fillings where you can start eating immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. you, can, you can start immediately. No, no special care needed. And so the, the, the heart, okay, the higher heart it's also interacting with the vibration of the other colors or energies in your aura strengthening them even further uh, the effects of this increasing the presence and range so you described for me that these different lights these different frequency of light or fire are present they are very much so present in you also even with a greater range and strength um, this is what i strive for everything everywhere but now in a much more consolidated fashion more strength more viscosity uh, with more effect just more mm -hmm. and I'm getting what's going on with the blue jay colony that's around you with the blue jays because you're doing something with blue jays they are my honored companions my connection let me see if I can uh, find okay so basically they are my connection to spirit um, part of my shamanic kit um, I used to have one in my hat but then it started getting dirty and I said no I don't want it to get dirty it's too precious but yes very much so they're they're my connection to uh, spirit mm, when you would probably have something similar so I'm just going to describe the process when spirit wishes to speak they don't just kick the door open and start going on they invite you mm -hmm. and so this happens in different ways and when i have access to nature it is this bird that calls so for example if i'm driving with the windows down i hear the chirping and so they're very abundant here in the uk um and i say okay i get the message there needs to be a discussion so i park safely 
leave the car, sit down, and then they connect. So it is very much so a matter of protocol, and I take this also as the same message that now you are conveying to me that there is a meeting waiting to begin. I'm going to connect and see. Uh, <laughs> there's a sort of like a happy kind of celebratory energy. Hey, you've been a good boy. Goody, goody, goo. <laughs> <laughs> like a pot of gold that's coming in and this pot of gold they'll discuss it with you okay i i'd, I'd prefer payment in cheesecake <laughs> <laughs> just like the vibrancy of the pot of gold just this vibrant yes, energy uh, life lifetime supply of cheesecake that that would be <laughs> but there's a meeting with like 20 blue jays yeah. Waiting for you. As you were as you were doing the heart thing upgrade, I was like, there's 20 blue jays that are waiting for him somewhere. Oh up boy, there. oh boy, yes, there's a there's they've they've been telling me uh yes, yeah, something something's coming. Be patient. And I'm going mm, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm like seeing a colony of 20 blue jays flying around your head, like energetically. It kept reverberating, blue jays, blue jays. Or, or maybe it's like in the cartoons when Tom and Jerry hit hit the other one on the head and then the birds start flying. <laughs> yeah, but no, they're like flying around your head, all around you, in nature, in your home, in your energy, and they're not going away. <laughs> I, you know, um, it's 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 my understanding is very much so. It is the combination of what we're both both bringing. Uh, you would be able to see this from space, basically. Such um, enormous radiance. And so I think they're just interested also, hey, what's going on here then? Uh, what are you guys doing? And so I don't think they're going to leave. They've Now that they're here, they might as well, they might as well get on with it. I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll have a meeting with you. Yes. Cheese, cheese, cheesecake <laughs> cheesecake that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> or a lot of blue jay feathers as well you might be making a new something with feathers yes 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 Blue that feathers. Resonates. Like... that resonates oh man I'm just getting the image yes 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 because you see there are those that that source these ethically um, and so it's not it's not harming the bird. Of course, they lose feathers yeah. like le like we lose hair, and so they pick these yes. up, and you can find them on even Etsy. So yes, yes, I'm going to. Wow, oh my goodness! Thank you so much for that. This is now a. Now I know what it is. You mm -hmm. see, many shamanic instruments come to you. You don't go looking for them. Uh, they come and sometimes they kick the door open too. Uh, so yes, all these things, these bowls and rattles and whatnot, and uh, Tibetan daggers and different wands and crystals and whatnot, they, they all come. This is now waiting to be created. And mm -hmm. I'm seeing a radial configuration of the weathers, but the, the, the feathers pointing outwards, very delicately bound in the center. And this will give me greater ability for portal work. But why the need for this? I'm already doing the thing. They say, you'll see. Okay, I'll trust. I trust, I trust. Okay. They, they say greater balance for the efficiency of expanding the energy. Enhancement. Like, like, yep. Yeah. Reaching outwards, like the roundness of the circle going... This, what you'll create, will expand the energy tenfold. Understood. Oh, yes, like absolutely. That, going so. out like that. Wow. Instead of just a circle of the portal frequency you're working with, it's expanding the circle and opening up the energy frequency more. Wow. What, what a, and it's a tiny little thing I'm seeing, because these mm -hmm. feathers are really, really small, like probably the size of a, maybe mm -hmm. two joints of your pinky. So it's a tiny little device. But what it expands, the energy of energy expansion is tenfold of the smallness of it. <laughs> okay, that's my cheesecake. <laughs> yes, your cheesecake. 
Oh, wow, yes. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I, I'm super happy. <laughs> Good. As you were expanding this, I'm like, I have to tell him about the Blue Jays. There's something about these Blue Jays. They're not going to go away until the message is heard and delivered. Uh, acknowledged and I receive with humility and gratitude. Yes, uh, consider it done. I, I mean, I've got the bug. Now that I've got the bug, it's going to be done. I can't I have no other way. You know, when you get the bug, you got you got to do it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, these tools help us energetically, physically, and it'll expand your portal work ten times. How elegant! I, I'm just now just looking at the final design. I would have never thought of it consciously. It's, it's not something I would think of on a daily basis whatsoever. But now seeing it, I understand why. Because you see, every feather has little strings or strands. Mm -hmm. And in this organic harmony of pattern and color, and then the organic and harmonious configuration of the feathers, it becomes a very certain device. Yes. Now, blessed from the other side, spirit giving the design. This is something very powerful. Hey, when I when I finish it, I'm going to send you a, a final, you know, <laughs> image. Yes, please. I love seeing these things. <laughs> oh wow! So th th this is this is amazing. Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, you know, this is the amazing thing about this kind of um, co-creation and harmonious work. Uh, that we are so much um, better with each other. We are so strong with each other. Together we are strong. Yes, and, indeed. You know, it's such a privilege to um, come to know you, my esteemed friend. And I think that this is going, this friendship goes a long way back. And I bless it, may it go a long way into the future in many ways. Beautiful. Well, thank you. And you have a way of seeing from the golden Akasha people's soul frequency, like their their energy, what they've done, what they're meant to do, and the purpose of the soul divine. That is a strength and a gift you have. Yes, yes, yes. And it's um, so we have to be um, sort of diplomatic and very gentle with uh, the information presented from the Akashic records. Many lifetimes are not the best. So there's no point in saying, okay, in such and such era, you died of such and such. Okay, what's the benefit? And so therefore going all the way back to the very start, it's before all this was said and done and happened and people really powerfully resonate with this. They recognize the truth of it. That, oh, yes, that's where I come from. Oh, that's what I'm doing, by the way. Oh, yes, now I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I like, you know, going to that level. A lot of time it's not straightforward. The link to that information is buried. So yes. thus combining it with the healing, the shamanic ways of removing these obstacles and um, stagnant energies and so on. But yes, I'm going to very, very carefully meditate on what we said and did today. There's, I believe, a gift that we have given each other of greater expansion and certainty and confirmation. I, I believe so as well. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a gift of humbleness and experience and connection. You um, know what? If I can source enough feathers, I'm going to make you one. <laughs> oh, I'm grateful for yourself. Make it for yourself first. Okay. Work with it because yeah, yeah. Well, go, it's go really for a, a gift little... to you. It's not for me. It's for you. <laughs> okay, but if it turns out to be a cool ride, uh, I'll I'll send you one. <laughs> I don't need one. It's for you. It's your pure okay. joy. It's for you. Uh, send me a picture. That's all I. I need. will. I will. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it's your divine de device. Um, I'm also trained as a na Native American shaman, so I make my own things as well. And this is really for you to expand that energy. Absolutely. I have so many feathers already in my medicine room. <laughs> and I collect myself. Like the birds always drop them for me to yes. pick up. 
Yes. So yes, I always yes, pick yes. up the feathers and I put, I create, I just create something natural. Like I just put them in a, in, in a jar and something and it looks like a smudger of some kind. Oh, amazing, 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 amazing. And they're, yeah, they're not you... tied with anything. They're just in a jar and they look like a fan. I, I think, I think you, 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 you will approve of the outcome of what I'm going to make. I've already oh, got will. different types of ideas of, you know, jewelry cement and how to place them perfectly. Uh, I'm already going on it on a tangent here, but <laughs> you have your cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I always say to people, I don't need a duplication of it. I just need to see the satisfaction of what you're doing with it. <laughs> That's so the, I'll send you a picture of me having yes, my cheesecake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a moment of pure joy of yes, it yeah. working with you. That's that's that's, I, that's I, the... I'm, I'm super I'm super goofy. Like super happy. I, I do suffer from you know exaggerated happiness. Uh, but yes, not a not such a <laughs> But it, it's it's your mode of creation and continuation and love on this planet yep <laughs> because your 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 soulmate is not on this planet like you've never found that one soulmate so you, you find the joy of being with people and happiness yes, yes. this so, yes. you've looked for your soulmate on this planet but it's it, that vibration has not been through meeting physical people so, so you connect with others and that's your joy, your laughter, your happiness. Because again, I'm picking up, there's like, you've tried relationships, but it's like that one person is not here. Uh, unfortunately, no. Yeah, so that's- <laughs> Believe that's me, also, I've tried. <laughs> and that's what I pick up from your soul as well. Like you've tried your best, but you've come to the understanding, not in this lifetime, it's, it's beyond the human frequency. So true, so true. And, and that was a, a kind of an, a very emotional uh, remembrance uh, where in communication with another part of my consciousness, infinite self, that yes, you've chosen so. Nobody, not in this lifetime. And yes, that is an immense uh, understanding. Yeah, I was kind of upset about it for a while. But now looking, I'm kind of like doing really well, doing what I love and there's so much cheesecake to go around so yeah that's mm -hmm. that keeps me happy <laughs> and and i'm in a similar position where i know my soulmate is not on this planet so the energy I... is way too unique and yes. there's not that there's not that many of our kind doing these very specific roles yes. and so uh you know what i think there might be you know vacation lifetimes in between uh, where, you know, in some domain or dimension of existence, uh, the union does occur, but I don't think it's here. No, not, not, and I've tried, I've, I've tried to connect to people's frequency, but I don't see that level of existence of the soulmate. And I will, I will not just engage for the sake of a human experience yes. because it creates its own disconnect. And I would rather yes. not hold that yes. energy. And I think you and I have right. both tried right. it right. and we're like, Hold your own sacred heart, hold your frequency, and be of joy to yourself and others. Agreed. <laughs> what can I say? You're right. <laughs> if that's just what your soul shows me. Like you yes, found yes, your yes. Inner thank you, thank you, thank you. Joy, happiness. Thank you. And it's not by trying to put yourself together with a person to be with a person. It has to be the right soul frequency that's just not on this planet, and it's okay. Uh, hey, maybe, maybe that's what the feathers are for. <laughs> Reaching <Open> wherever the... <laughs> exactly. Like uh, yeah. that portal frequency and helping you to expand the frequencies 10 times outward than what the normal portal is, which is like this. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very accurate. Um, well, thank you. I would have never thought of it myself. And for some reason, it needed your, hey, you're the key. What did I tell you, my friend? You just unlocked this new level for me. Thank you. Well, thank you and your beautiful 
healing your frequency, your genuine compassion towards others and helping people to see the frequency of joy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I, I would I would love to um, share your um, um, information where people may find you, websites and so on. Beautiful. I'll send it to you and send yours to me as well, because I'd Absolutely. love to put this on my channel and share your information as well. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, and have a really, really beautiful day. You as well. Blessings. Much love. Take care of yourself. All the You very as well. best to you. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. Bye.